Who is William Lewis Manley? Hi, my name is Deborah Fox, and I'm the author of The Man Who Beat Death Valley, an amazing graphic novel about the history of Death Valley and William Lewis Manley. Manley's story captures the imagination. William Lewis Manley should be famous. He's an American hero that everybody should know. William Lewis Manley was born April 6, 1820, in St. Albans, Vermont. He was raised to be independent. He moved to Michigan when he was nine with his family. There, he became educated and learned to write. He was close to his mother and sister. William Lewis Manley said he had a traditional Christian upbringing. In 1840, William Lewis Manley left the family home in Michigan and struck out on his own. He made it as far south as southwestern Wisconsin and settled in the area of Mineral Point, Wisconsin. He became a lead miner, a hunter, he chopped wood, anything to get by. Also in 1840, William Lewis Manley met for the first time Asa Hill Bennett, Sarah Bennett, and Dariah Dilley, Sarah's father. Over the coming decade, William Lewis Manley lived on and off with the Bennett family. Manley's relationship with the Bennetts was a critical part of his life. The Bennetts are frequently mentioned in Manley's autobiographies. I closely examine the relationship Manley had with the Bennetts in another video and in my book, The Man Who Beat Death Valley. In the spring of 1849, the Bennetts and William Lewis Manley decided to relocate to California. The gold rush was going on at this time. The group originally planned to travel together to California, but Manley ended up traveling alone. This is due to confusion over a letter that William Lewis Manley received from Bennett prior to leaving. I cover this letter extensively in The Man Who Beat Death Valley. Manley met several important people along the way. One was Chief Wakara. Chief Wakara was a very important person in Utah history. Manley also met Captain Jefferson Hunt. Captain Jefferson Hunt was an early and important member of the LDS Church. He became a California state legislator and is responsible for the creation of San Bernardino County, California. Manley also met John Rogers. John Rogers was his friend from Iowa to California, and he was on the disastrous shortcut and heroic rescue mission. Manley was part of a group of seven men who decided to leave Charles Dallas's wagon train and take the Green River to California. On the Green River, the canoes capsized twice, and one man nearly drowned. It was William Lewis Manley who saved Alfred Walton from drowning on the Green River. On the Green River, the group of seven men came across the camp of Chief Wakara. The men approached the Indian camp, but were fearful. William Lewis Manley, in his hunting expeditions in Wisconsin, was more comfortable with indigenous people, and he became translator for the group of men. Chief Wakar warned the men that continuing down the river would be dangerous and gave them directions to Salt Lake City. Miraculously, William Lewis Manley met the Bennetts at a wagon train at Hobble Creek. Captain Jefferson Hunt was leading a huge wagon train to Los Angeles. The group hoped to reach the California gold fields by going around south of the Sierra Nevada mountains. It was too late in the season to go the normal route over the Sierra Nevadas because of snow. The disaster of the Donner Party was fresh in everybody's memories. In October of 1849, the wagon train started south. They made it as far as Enterprise, Utah before a descent broke out in the wagon train. A hundred wagons broke off and decided to follow a bogus map across the Great Basin Desert. This area was unexplored by non-native people. After about three days, the terrain got too tough. All but 27 turned around. Manley, Rogers, the Bennett, and Arcane families were part of the 27 that continued, as well as the Wade family and a loose-knit group of bachelors known as the Jayhawkers. As they went west, grass dried up. Water holes became further and further apart. The group slowly starved. They had to survive by eating their emaciated cattle. The shortcut was a disaster. And just as they thought things couldn't get worse, they ended up in Death Valley. 
when they ended up in death valley it was about christmas 1849. in death valley the group splintered even further the bachelors the jayhawkers were able to escape death valley by going around the north end of the panamint range the families continued south they camped at Eagle Borax Spring and Bennett's Well. Thinking they couldn't cross the Panamint Range from where they were, the group elected Manley and Rogers to hike to settlement, get supplies, come back, and lead them out of Death Valley. Manley and Rogers heroically agreed to the trek. Leaving Death Valley, Manley and Rogers traveled 250 miles of dry Mojave Desert, on the way passing the Jayhawkers, who were practically destitute. Manley and Rogers made it to Santa Clarita, to Rancho San Francisco, where they obtained help from the Lopez family. The Lopez family were early California settlers. Because the Lopez family spoke no English, Manley again served as an interpreter. From the Lopez family, Manley and Rogers obtained provisions, such as wheat, oranges, and horses, so that they could go back to Death Valley and rescue the families. In their haste to rescue the families, the men rode the horses too hard, and they perished on the way back to Death Valley. Only the one-eyed mule survived the trek. It was a happy reunion when the men finally returned to Death Valley. They set about preparations for their trek out of Death Valley. The trek to Santa Clarita was an arduous one, especially for the women. It was another 250 punishing miles of brutal desert, but they finally made it to civilization to Rancho San Francisco, where they were aided by the Lopez family, and all survived. They had been delivered from death. What can we learn from Manley's story, and why is it important? Manley's story not only appeals to historians, but it's an action-packed adventure. Manley's story transcends history because it's inspirational. Ever since Homer, hero stories have been critically important to our society for elevating us as human beings. Humans are drawn to successful, competent, and kind people and narratives. Hero stories teach us about sacrifice, timelessness, and paradoxes. Their stories teach us our deep roles in our social fabric. Manley teaches us racial tolerance. Manley traded with the Wisconsin tribes and had a very favorable interaction with Chief Wakara. Manley's writings about Native peoples are full of admiration and respect, and he credited Chief Wakara with saving his life. Manley spoke in glowing terms of the Lopez family. He spoke of their warmth and intelligence. His embrace of their language shows his respect for them. If we know the names of other Western heroes, why don't we know about William Lewis Manley? He's a person everybody should know. We were fools to take the cutoff. We were warned it was dangerous. Instead, we kept going. Straight into a rocky hell. The man who beat Death Valley, how Death Valley earned its name, told for the first time in a graphic novel. Order now at debfoxdesign.com.